but at the same time, I guess we, as a band, have changed a bit, like our, like where we're going and the whole theme of the album. It's a bit, I don't know. For me, I've, I've for the past year, I've had this like almost Armageddon-like feeling about the world. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Not in a yeah, no, conspiracy I... theory way, more like it's everything is quite strange. And, yeah. and yeah. I've been living for the past like six months. I've been mostly in England, and, and uh, you know, I guess we're we're all like trying to find new ways of existing in this strange world. <laughs> yeah, being one with the pandemic and, yeah. and, and everything, and, and it's it's not going away anytime soon. It feels like so. It's um, it is weird. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, for me personally, this like. Armageddon-esque feeling has mm. affected my writing process, and, and um, I don't know how it's been yeah. for you, but no, no. I mean, I think in many ways for me, for me as well. I mean, it's uh, it has that sort of Armageddon, yeah, like, yeah. You know. But I mean, it, it's quite interesting. I mean, I mean, when I joined the band full time for the Living Infinite, your lyrics were more like internalizing. Mm. It was more about like your yeah. The state you were in, yeah. and now it's more like externalized yes. in, in a good yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah like absolutely, absolutely. you're reflecting yeah. on the world around you. Yes, yes. and I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, it's uh, for me the most important thing about being in a band is like to um, to have this sort of like feeling of evolution. Mm. You know, I could never play in ACDC, <laughs> but no, I mean no. I love them, but. No. But yeah. you know, um, it feels like for every rec it's like it sounds so cliched, but but if the fact that we're all doing, you know, we're all doing other stuff on the side, and we're all like getting new influences, and and it's always, you know, it's it's. Um, it's never boring. <laughs> no. It might be many things, but never yeah. boring. No, no, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah. 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 Me and Bjorn, we've we've had quite an, or we have quite an intense relationship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're like yeah. really close, but at the same time, um, you know, we've been touring together since 2006, and we mm. we have two bands together, and we are the main songwriters in both bands, and we. You know, we butt heads sometimes, but at the same yeah, time, we're we have very this... diff different as people, yeah. obviously, too. But it's like, uh, and, and, and in very different sort of yeah. states, you know, right now, or or in yeah, but, different uh, but, phases in our yeah, in our yeah. lives, and in, and and you know, but of course, we can connect, you know, on, on on some levels. And I think it's really through music where we really do that. Also, as people, of course, but it's 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 that's I guess that's our way of communicating because we don't. We don't really talk that much on, on the phone or, or meet yeah. up, you know, yeah. uh, anymore. It used to be more, but it, that doesn't mean that we're growing apart. I think it's just no. You know, I mean, um, personally, I think we're in a way we're closer than ever because we've yeah. talked so much about everything, mm. and it's been difficult. Yeah, you know, no, no. I, I, I've I mean, had a really so. rough year with the divorce and you know some mental health issues, and it's been difficult for Bjorn too. Watching me going through all that, mm. and you're in a different place, like. Yeah. But you know, we replaced our teenage angst with middle-aged anxiety, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, the whole thing for me, it's been like since I've uh, I've been through, um, I've had a rough year, and and uh, uh, so a lot, of, a lot of my lyrics are quite dark in a way. Mm. And which has affected Bjorn in a way too, because, like we said, we're in different places and life faces. And and um, for me, it's like um, now it, it's going to sound like we're mayhem, and we're not. <laughs> but but for me, it's it's sort of like um, life affirming in a way to, to you know get rid of all the dark stuff. Mm. Um, just like, you know, and I guess I'm a bit too intense sometimes, so I always, you know, I always listen to music too loud, and I always, you know, I can be a bit, you know, 
um, domineering and, and uh, a bit. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, but at the same time, it's it's like, and 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 Bjorn is, is um, I think it's a it's a nice balance, you know. And and I for, me, so for me, it's yeah. it's not like I want to die. It's more yeah. like yeah. I kind of like, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, but I think I think it's very in, in, important for me to leave that the door to darkness open, you know, at all times. Because there's, yeah. I mean, if you shut that, it's like it, it's not realistic, you know. And I think it's. It's also a matter of what you do with it. You're letting in the darkness, and then it's really what you're doing with with it. And, and I guess what I've been seeing with David at, at times is that he's being sort of absorbed, you know, and and he's be becoming, you know, those lyrics a little bit too much, you know. And I feel that that he's he you know he's gone through that door and he's been closing the door, you know, instead of sort of leaving it open. You know? And <laughs> yeah, then yeah. and then that's sort of what I've been seeing, and that's. <laughs> that has been inspiring me lyrically as well, you know. So it's it's an interesting exchange. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, yeah it's, an... it's it's an exchange. It's it's like yeah. a lyrics. It's like a conversation. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. I guess you could say that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's you know it's it's really it's really lovely. To, uh, uh, I really like having you know Bjorn as like a, a sparring partner. No, but yeah. it's, it's like. Yeah. Um, it, it would be boring to, I mean, I'm always writing songs all the time, but at the same time, I wouldn't want to have an entire album with just my songs. No, you know? <laughs> no I mean, I, th I think we need that sort of dynamic yeah. in the songwriting. People need new stuff, they need inspiration, they need music, they need, you know, at least for me, it's been hmm. a saving grace. Discovering mm. new music and and, and um, you know getting that source of inspiration um, and I feel like um, people do appreciate that we're we're not curling up in a fetal position, giving up. We're no. still creating stuff and, and uh, yeah, and, and and they can feel that it's real. Yeah, they yeah. can feel the presence in the music, you know, and, and uh, it's it's. Um,